the right of rising. Hello everyone, Zane and here, and welcome back to Last Play, Fire Emblem Free Houses. Ah, professor, to what do I owe this pleasure? I want to hear more about my parents. Also, sorry if you can hear purring, my cat's in the room. Ah, yes, of course you do. I will gladly tell you all that I know. Where to begin? If you have something particular in mind, please ask and I shall answer as best I can. Tell me about my mother. Kind and wise. I would often see her in the library, her nose always buried in a book. What was my father like back then? Gerald was very much then as he is now. His knights would have done just about anything for him. Whenever he had time to spare, he would instruct the children of the monastery in combat and tactics. Just like those wide-eyed youngsters, your mother and I made a hero of him in our minds. Really? When I learned that Gerald and Citri were to be married, I was quite surprised. Back then, Gerald was something of a mentor to me. As for Citri, she found it difficult to express her emotions. It was only when she was gazing at Gerald that I ever saw her smile. A smile that rivaled the very sun. His tales of the outside world must have seemed like a lifeline for one as frail and guarded as she. Frail? Indeed. She lacked this beyond the monastery. Lily! The only souls she ever spoke with were a select few within the monastery world. So sorry. I can picture it now. The stories he told her. His striking words and his boisterous laugh. Listening to him must have given her a great deal of hope. As for me, I could never have become like Gerald, as much as I wished for it. You wanted to be like him? I suppose I did. He would tell stories from a century ago as though he had lived them himself. No matter how fervently one studies the stories of old, that is no easy task. Professor, you traveled with Gerald before coming here. You must have seen a great many things, yes? Forgive me for overstepping, but do you not regret foregoing your travels to take up residence here? I enjoy my work here. <laughs> well then, I suppose I have no choice but to assist you as best I can. To shape young minds must afford you a unique perspective on the world. I am certain my unsolicited advice is nothing but a nuisance. But, please, hear me out. It is my hope that you will live a full life, experiencing the world, fostering strong relationships with people. Do so for dear Citri, whose wish to experience such things shall regretfully never be granted. That's why you asked me to teach the Ash Wolves? I cannot deny it. It is my own stubborn notion. One that her grace will likely not think kindly of. Beyond my personal motive, I believe that you alone can guide my flock to even greater heights. And perhaps you will learn from them as well. Ah, but I have taken enough of your precious time. Know that I am here for you. Always. Such a nice moment that my cat ruined. Eh. Hey. Passed. Pray tell, Yuri. Did those foul bandits whom we bested at the arena confess to anything? Not a word. And I wouldn't name names. I got the feeling they didn't know much themselves. However, one thing is clear. Whoever hired them is after something here in Abyss. Yeah, that's gotta be it. They must have been on a treasure hunt or something. A treasure hunt here? I don't get it. What is there to find in these dingy tunnels? Elfric, was it? Looks like this is ringing a bell for you. Well, something does come to mind, but the notion is preposterous at best. Never discount a wild hunch. Sometimes they're closer to the truth than you think. Any lead will do, so long as it helps determine our next course of action. Please, go on. As you wish, though again, it is quite far-fetched. You see, there is a long-standing legend here. It is said that deep underground, below even abyss, 
There's a place called the Chasm of the Bound, wherein lies the Chalice of Beginnings. The Chasm of the Bound? Huh. This is the first I've heard of it. So you believe Abyss is connected to that place? Lots of twists and turns down here, so it's not the craziest idea ever. Must be well hidden, though. I once happened upon an old document that mentioned a ritual called the Rite of Rising. The text was incomplete, so I was unable to achieve a full understanding of the topic. I cannot even guarantee the authenticity of what I read. But it stated that the Chalice of Beginnings is a sacred object, crafted by order of Saint Seros herself. Saint Seros apparently used the artifact to carry out the Rite of Rising, along with the Four Apostles. Who are the Four Apostles? I vaguely recall reading about the Four Apostles. They were saints, and that's about all anyone knows. Hardly any records of them remain. Few alive even know their names, but these Apostles supposedly assisted the Four Saints with their holy work. It is also believed that Saint Seros attempted to perform a resurrection using the Chalice. However, the ritual failed. The Four Apostles bound the Chalice, so that it would never fall into a mortal's hands. The Rite of Rising, huh? Hmm. Ah, oh, yes! The Chalice of Legend! My father mentioned it to me a very long time ago. A secret treasure of the Church. A Chalice, powerful enough to resurrect the dead! Exhilarating, no? Quite. It is no small wonder that people are after it. Even so, we still don't have much to go on. We must gather more information about this legend at once. I wholeheartedly agree. I will do all I can to track down more clues within the monastery. Although Garrick Mach's library is so... well curated, I doubt any further records will be found. Wondrous! We shall do all that we can as well. So the crater can be reused again. Uh, we don't have much money, so there's not really much we can do. Even the bullions wouldn't be that great. Plus, we want to save. At least a little. The answer is no. I will not allow it. It is far too dangerous. Ah, but if we can determine its origin, we may eliminate the very danger that vexes you. You already know this, but there are plenty of folks down here who can't defend themselves. If these attacks keep up, eventually they'll find themselves in harm's way. <sighs> yes, I am aware. However, for the time being, you must promise to refrain from acting recklessly. My dear Flock has suffered enough as it is. You needn't take any further risks. Surprisingly overbearing, isn't he? He must really care about you guys. Most certainly. Yet, if we fail to nip this problem in the bud, I shudder to think what will transpire. Aha! It's you! In the nick of time, as it were. Come. Let us venture into the deep, deep underground. The chalice of legend awaits! We're going underground? Of course! Deeper and deeper still beneath the monastery, to the chasm of the bound. Coco, you didn't hear a word Elfie said, did you? I surely did, but we must read between the lines. Elfric wants a solution as badly as we do. And so, we shall seek out the Chalice of Beginnings and present it to the Church. If our enemies desire the object, this should halt all future attacks on Abyss. <laughs> Brilliant, no? I'm not so sure about that. According to legend, there's some kind of binding that protects it from would-be thieves. 
Even if we find it, we can't just walk up and take it unless we figure out how to break that thing. Ah, but that is simplicity itself. We shall first ascertain whether it is still bound, and then we shall release it. But where is this chasm, anyway? I've never even heard of the place, much less seen it. As luck would have it, I have discovered yet another secret passage. It appears to go deep underground. According to my superior instincts, it undoubtedly leads to the Chasm of the Bound! Huh. I suppose it's worth a look. I don't care about finding some old cup, but if it could help us protect the best, I'll support the cause. The chalice, you not a cup. You surface dwellers do not have anything else to do at present, do you? You'll assist us, will you not? We'll go with you. I don't have anything scheduled before my next nap, so I guess that's fine. Edelgar doesn't look too thrilled, though. <laughs> Splendid! It is decided. We leave at once. <sighs> Feeling pretty lost right now. How long have we been walking? I'm guessing a full week. A week? Ridiculous. It's been a few hours at most. Exaggerations aside, if this takes much longer, I'm concerned about our lack of food and water. She's got a point. How about we trek a bit farther, and if we don't find anything, we turn back. Constance, I find it rather curious how quickly you became fixated on the chalice. Care to explain? Oh, I... no. Why would I be fixated on a silly little legend for some supposed ulterior motive? <laughs> <laughs> you want the esteem. You think this will convince the church to help you restore your fallen house. Oh, how could you possibly know that? <gasps> Have you been snooping within the confines of my very mind? I shall restore House Nouvelle to its former glory at all costs. <laughs> it's practically a catchphrase. Aha! Uh -huh. Just as I suspected. Constance is the former lady of House Nouvelle. You know House Nouvelle? In a sense. Until just a few years ago, it was a house of Viscounts in the west of the Empire. House Nouvelle lost its status five years ago, as a result of their part in the war. Huh. You speak as though it has nothing to do with you. I fear all I can do is ask forgiveness in place of my useless father. If doing so will comfort you in any way, then please accept my... Save your breath. That will not be necessary. There is only one thing that I desire. For the sake of my parents, who fell courageously and selflessly in defense of the Empire. For them, I shall restore our status, revive House Nouvelle, and return it to its former glory. All that I do, even spending each day advancing my magical prowess, is to that end. And in reward for all that hard work, you were forced to live underground. Life's cruel. It's like you took a shortcut back to the starting line. Or maybe you're just unlucky. What are you saying? I never intended to share that side of me with you. Look at that. It's a good thing we didn't turn back. That looks mighty chasm-like if you ask me. <laughs> Say, are we beneath the bridge of the monastery? Incredible. Huh. I never thought I'd be gazing up at that bridge we've crossed a thousand times from way, way down below. Are we sure this is the right place? It is. I think. I believe. I hope. Constance, why are you hiding in the shade? Aren't you the one who insisted that we find the chalice? <sighs> Fine. If you insist that I join you, then I shall. Satisfied? Get ready for the one thing I hate. About this DLC. Oh my, I was quite rude just now. Please accept my humble apologies for treating you so foully. Why? Why this music? I presume too much to stand beside such noble paragons. Allow me to dig a hole to bury myself in. <sighs> No matter how deep underground we are, I guess sunlight is still sunlight. Poor Constance. What's going on? 
This is what Coco is like in the sun. That's why she lives underground. I fear I cannot guarantee that this is the chasm of the Baum. I have almost surely wasted our time. Enough with the self-doubt, yeah? Just put one foot in front of the other. We'll have you back in the shadows before you know it. Cheer up, Coco. We need you. And now I have forced you into a state of pity. I feel so very worthless. I admit, I have never seen anything quite like this before. Is there nothing we can do to help? Happy? Keep Constance moving. If we don't start searching, we'll never find that damn chalice. Fine, I'll just push her a bit, I guess. I must ask you to cease. You shall soil your hands upon my filthy back. No soap could possibly... Huh? This feeling. I sense magic in the air. There is something just ahead. The binding spell, perhaps. <sighs> I hate that music. As you can probably tell, Constance has two personalities. People hate Constance because they think the scene is making fun of that. It's not, which is the annoying thing, at least in English. In Japanese, I don't know. But the music, why? Because using the, oh, ha uh -huh, this is so funny music. It's, why? You could use silence or any of the better tracks that portray seriousness. I don't feel anything at all. Wait. Actually, I hear something. Something big. And it's moving. Perhaps there is something in place that is guarding the chalice. Yikes. What is that thing? It's like some kind of gigantic toy. I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But I know it doesn't bode well. I don't know. Could be fun. It's been a while since I've met an enemy that can put up a good fight. Hey, you! Meet your master, pal. I'm gonna pummel you into my own personal shield. Sorry about that. My cat is moving around. Being a pest, aren't you? Hmm. <sighs> I honestly don't blame people. Oh, we do. Okay, Italian units, constants, nope, inventory, keep doing this, trade, Dimitri, crescent, switch for the iron lance. I think it's fine. Battalions. Yeah. Powers, only thing. Nice to Saros, though. It's going to be one of the ones that's going to be used a lot. I guess we can check your skills. New market? Oh yeah. 
healing focus. That might actually be good. Be good. Trade. Now we have phantom soldiers, soldiers and golems, and particularly we have Marcel. Marcel is going to be annoying because we need to defeat him to get to here, and here, and here. Well, or. Find the chalice. What's the deal? No matter how many we squash, more just take their place. Hmm. If those things were created to protect the chalice, there must be a way to deactivate them. If I may presume to offer my opinion, the statues may warrant scrutiny. There must be a way to activate those things. I bet they require some type of key. You defile this sacred place. Leave now or perish. Sacred place? Sounds like a chasm of the bound, all right. I think I might have found the key. That thing over there is carrying it around. Cut through. It's our chance to prevail. Now let's charge forward. What? What's the deal? Hmm. If I. Hmm. You. Sacred. I. Let me at him. Ready and willing. Pull out all the stops. What's the I can't believe. If I... mm. You sacred. I <sighs> Yep. Ready and willing. I'll cut through. On it. Don't let them retreat. There we go. I'll give it my all. Sure thing.
Stay focused. Burn. Finally. Easy peasy. First enemy down. Could have been better. Still bold. Never underestimate an outsider. May my foes someday forgive me. Let's do this. Uh. 
assist physic. Ash can be defensive. Assault troop. Time is now. And Marcel. It's about to break. Hide into the shrubbery. I'll leave that to Bolfus. You know what? Dead eye. Mithril. And X Blast. Actually, I believe yes. items on void. Fimble Vetter. So, this is what the goddess grants me. And yep, she does different level up quotes, as well as defeat. And victory quotes. I would spend at least one of those to quit to crit. I picked a flyer to take the key. Life doesn't always go as planned. Huh. There's clearly something special about this key. Better keep it safe. Yep. So we need to be sure. be able to get as many units close. Um, I should do what heal Hilda though, because Alright, just go to that red end. Give me a moment. Uh Gambit. Okay, so I just need one to the right and right and left and Claude. FT. That's what you get. Bullion. Heal. Thank you. My request Cephaline. You know what? Steel gauntlets. 
and rally. You're too kind. You know what? Gambit! get Dimitri which is slightly fine but only a little aggravating item oh I don't okay should be fine we'll lend you a hand my intrusion. Get me out. I'm not done. There we go. Okay, so he's got a soap sword, which is fine. Kill a lance. You know what? Let's try it. Oh, it's not even getting crit. Punched the golem so hard, Hi, you destroyed it. Nice. Nice work, Olfus. Too shabby. Simon Forget pass I need to just fly by. And also ride by, technically, but... Okay. Not many people are account. Actually, let's see what your weapon is. Your weapon is a horse slayer. I need to dismount as much as it, it pains me. Items... No. Let's keep that. Oh, what do you have? A vulnerary. It's not really useful compared to this, which has a bullion. You can just buy a concoction. Never had a chance. I'm getting strong. Oh. 
Nice. Must stay focused. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I need to do some damage. Do the gambit now would also help. Quite helpful. Switch. All right. Dismount. Let's equip the hand axe. Oh, she's got the counter attack, so. Combo arts, foul play, switch between heart. Doing no damage, but but nothing because <sighs> Vara Mirsha. to use caution one key multiple key agreed this is just <sighs> i don't know why i did that so a shame. <sighs> claude took action ready and willing Yeah. 
really. and willing stay focused let me at him well done i will prevail Oh, he has. I'll give it my own. You're the one with the magic. Sure thing. Okay, finally. Now I've dealt with the biggest pass. Good job, Baldus. Oh my god, Yuri. 
decided to just be done. Just so we can easily get closer. Okay, not really. I might as well just heal just to get a bit of experience. breaking Underestimate an outsider. Heal. Ready. Set. Fight. Okay. Now we can just uh, set off the lever. Soldier,
Lovely. And these two switch around. Move. Everyone will move. I don't believe it's center, I actually believe it's left. Either that or it's random. Ready and willing. Claude, pull the lever. More. What? This one's a trap. Only one left. Yep. And we just do this. We know which one's the trap. So it's like, what's the point? Allowing him to mess with us. Sure thing. We can just go straight for him. The Iron King of Gravelin. This is a really strong ball fist. I'll give it my all. So I can end this, end it yep. this turn. Nighty night. We do need the Ash of Rules. No, nope, no, no, no. Ready and willing. You know what? Just in case. Clever. Close call, but we did it. Our efforts paid off. <laughs> Search for the chalice. MVP is Claude. Life doesn't always go as planned. There's something drawn on the rock over there. My crest. There's something drawn on the rock over there. They look like crests. Whoa, what's going on? My crest. Oh, but look at the stone. There's light streaming from it. Look, there's something in that opening. Oh, can it be? Is that? You would know best. It is beyond my ken whether that is the chalice. Curse my ignorance. Answer the question, will you? Is it or isn't it? That quaking earlier. Some kind of containment magic related to the crests was in place here. Whether intentionally or not, the chalice was released. I hesitate to suggest that those things were the cause. Oh, perhaps one of our crests was the key to unbinding the chalice. Care to summarize that? My apologies. I have caused you undue vexation by speaking so incomprehensibly. Were I to venture a tentative guess, I would say that this is indeed the chalice of beginnings. You could have just said, this is it, all right. Forgotten crests resembling those of the Four Apostles, depicted on a sealed rock wall, objects that resemble holy armaments, and a chalice that gathers magic all on its own. 
I don't know of any other legends that cover all of that. So this must be the chalice we're looking for. A thousand thank yous for covering my own inadequacy with such a competent explanation. I'm still not used to hearing you speak in such a manner. Forgive me, your highness. If I have displeased you, please take my life as a small gesture of atonement. Oh, your highest of highnesses, I doth humbly beg of thee to find forgiveness within your royal heart. Stop fooling around, Claude. And Constance, I assure you, there is nothing to forgive. Hmm? I hear thunder. Rain is soon to follow. We'd better head back to Abyss before the storm hits us. Ugh, it happened yet again. Why must my good intentions always... Huh? What was that sound? It cannot be! Next time, on Fire Emblem Free Houses, we're going to do the most infamous chapter in this side content. This is Ina and Zimmer, signing out.